took a best offer of $500. When I saw it at first, I nearly passed it by. But thanks to watching Bolo Buddies videos, I learned this was probably something special. It is. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I'm going to share bolos with you from May 2023 that sold from members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. This is my Facebook group. If you're not in it, definitely go join. It will be down below. There's a clickable link under my link tree. So definitely come over and hang out with us in the Facebook group. And I'm basically gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted this in the group, share your best May Bolo, and members of the group share a screenshot. And they also tell me where that information. And now I'm going to share it in a video for you guys. And this helps everybody learn. So I would love for you guys to come over to the Facebook group and share a June Bolo. All right, let's get started here. The first one found this dead cat plush at an estate sale for a dollar listed on Mercari for $40 two to three weeks ago and sold today for full asking price. He called it a dead cat or she, I don't know who it is. Um, called it a dead cat. Vintage Earl the Dead Cat Plush, 1985 stuffed plush by Mad Dog Productions. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Uh, sold on Mercari. You guys, if you're not selling your plush on Mercari, definitely think about it. I do have a link down below. It's a referral link and you're going to get money if you join with my link. You're going to get $10 when you join to shop on Mercari and another $20 if you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari. So take advantage of that link. It helps you. It helps me. I appreciate when you guys use my links. But anyway, yeah, Mercari is great for plush. I've talked about that before in videos. So I guess be on the lookout for this cat. I bought from a private collector years ago and paid like 10 or so at the time. She's been in my Build-A-Bear collection for years, but I'm moving across town and she's too bulky to keep anymore. Sold for 65 within 20 minutes of listing on Mercari. Again, Mercari. Um, it's a Build-A-Bear. It's a pink Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear. And this is what it looks like. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Eye Candy Vintage on eBay. And this is her eBay store. She said, I picked up this ceramic Christmas tree at a local yard sale for $2. It was missing some bulbs and had a bulb stuck in one area. So it had flaws. It sold in a few weeks for $52 plus shipping. Yes, these vintage Christmas tree trees are definitely a bolo. They are a pain to ship. Uh, bolo Buddies member, what is that? That means that she has joined memberships on my YouTube channel at level two or higher to get perks. Basically, if you're a member, you get a screenshot popped up of either your eBay store or your YouTube channel. And then I also link you in the description. So you guys, if you are watching this, make sure you go to the description and follow the eBay stores and also check out the YouTube channels because they are Bolo finders. You'll definitely learn from them. Hi, Courtney. Thanks for all the helpful and fun content you provide us. I found this vintage rubber face bear at the bins, paid approximately 45 cents for it. I started it at auction of 650 and had a dozen or so views, but no offers. When it ended, I relisted at 595 and took a best offer of $500. When I saw it at first, I nearly passed it by, but thanks to watching Bolo Buddies videos, I learned this was probably something special. It is a Rushton scrappy bear, Plastic face, red, white, crying, for you plush stuffed, nine inch, and nine inch stuffed toy. I just did a video on Rushton, big money Rushton to look for. Definitely go check out that video. Type in Bolo Buddies Rushton to find it on YouTube. But wow, $500 and she got it at the Goodwill Ben for $1,000. I found this hutch top in Maryland for a hundred bucks and had one of my movers pick up for me. I found the base cabinet in Naples, Florida for 111 on one of my buying trips. They were in rough shape, so I completely cleaned and restained, sold within 10 minutes of posting on eBay. 
So he got them at two different places, knew that they went together because he is like a Ethan Allen pro. And so 211 cost of goods sold in 10 minutes for a thousand. It's a super rare Ethan Allen antiqued pine collection CRP gun cabinet. So he did um, put some time into this also cleaning and restaining it. I bought this at Prime Time Thrift Store in Alexandria, Virginia. I paid $6.99 for it. I listed it for $159, but accepted a best offer of $152. The buyer paid shipping. I love selling vintage toys. And this is what it looks like. It is a Storm Collectibles 112th Samar or Samurai Showdown. It's so small. And I don't know how to say this word. Halahumara <laughs> action toy figured in the original packaging, still sealed. Sales have been really slow because I've been lazy and not posting regularly. I can't recall how much I paid for these napkin rings, but I know it was less than $5 for eight. I was asking $75 for one set and $90 for the other, but I accepted a best offer of $100 for both sets. The buyer paid shipping and I shipped the two orders together. It took a little bit a little while, but Vilroy and Bach always sells for me. This is what they look like. I got this at a church sale for $2. I know vintage shower curtains can sell for good money. So when I couldn't find any like it on eBay, I listed for $59.99. It sold in less than 24 hours for an offer of $49.99. Sold another one that was just the shower curtain and rings with no cafe curtain in a different pattern to the same buyer on the same day for $29.99. Paid $2 for that one too. Don't pass these by. This is what it looks like. MCM Vintage Plastic Vinyl Shower Curtain with Rings, Window Set Green Fish and Shells, New Old Stock. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Thriftaholic. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. Picked up this for 25 cents at a church sale and sold it for 49. Crabtree and Evelyn scented environmental oil and Noel scent. I also... I'm sorry, I always pick up Crabtree and Evelyn when I see it since most items are retired. I don't think they have retail locations anymore. It is a fragrance environmental oil, so maybe like a room spray. Another one, and this is what it looks like. It is a 1A Class A. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry, guys. Alvarino Martini Geo Classic European Map Leather Passport Holder. That's what it looks like. This one also comes from Thriftaholic. Another item picked up for 25 cents at a church sale was this leather map print passport wallet or folder made in Italy. Those are usually the magic word. So I ran a comp and saw that the sold in the $30 to $40 range. This one was still wrapped in plastic and had literature with it. I found two others, same and unused, but not wrapped. The wrapped one sold for 45 and one of the unwrapped ones sold for 36. Thank you for sharing everyone's successes. I learned something with each video. Thank you for sharing. Here is the other one that took she took an offer for 36 on. Bought this at a Goodwill for $2. I think I could have sold it for a little more, but $2 into 25, I will take it anyway. Thanks to you and Rebel, I will be looking out for all these bolos. So Rebel is the Rebel reseller. This is her YouTube channel. She's also a Bolo Buddies member. Go check her out and sub her up. She is incredible. It is a vintage Fisher Price Puff-A-Lump White Bunny Rabbit Pastel Rattle. Yes, Puff-A-Lumps can be a big money bolo. Definitely look them up if you see them. Um, I think she sold this on Poshmark. Sure looks like that is a Poshmark listing. So can you sell plush on Pops? on Pops, on Poshmark, absolutely. Uh, you can sell hard goods on Poshmark. So if you didn't know that, definitely think about it. I use List Perfectly to cross post. I start on eBay, cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. I use List Perfectly. It's a cross posting service. Check it out down below. I have a demo video of how it works. If you check it out and it's something you think you would use for your business, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word to get 30% off your first month. I have to share my Bolo. And I have tried to figure out how to become a member of the Bolo Buddies channel, but I am getting a file not found. Yeah, my link was bad. Sorry, guys. I am a huge fan of the channel and I'm starting my own, so I would love a shout out. This one comes from Black Dog Vintage. 
And how you become a member is you go down below and there is a join button. Sometimes you can't see it on certain devices. So I do have a clickable link under my link tree. You can click on that. If you join at level two, you're gonna get a pop-up of your YouTube channel or eBay store and a link down in the description of the video. Uh, that's level two and up. So I hope you can figure that out and get signed up and I'll get you in this video. She said, anyway, I won a group of miniature tea sets in an auction. Normally I'm a jewelry reseller, but I believe I saw another bolo on your channel with miniatures a while ago. So I figured I would bid. I won the entire lot for $9. This set of two miniatures vases matched and had a mark on the bottom. I researched and saw they were rare. I put them on auction and they sold for $108.56. I also sold a larger lot of Limoges from the, that auction win and that lot sold for $156.69. So not bad for a $9 auction win. Yes, definitely. Uh, vintage miniature floral porcelain pair of blue vases signed GF and this is what they look like. Another thing, if they're really small that you can put in the title is dollhouse. I went through your link tree and got it through there. Okay, she said, I am a member now. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you for joining. We found this vase at a local thrift store for 50% off. The cost was $2. It was a crackle glass and hand painted. Turned out to be Moser glass. Sold for 125. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Kayhoff. And this is what her uh, eBay store looks like. So it's C-A-H-O-F-F. -F, and I think I was saying, I don't know what I was saying. I don't think I said Kayhoff though. So thank you for telling me how to pronounce it. How to pronounce it. Oh, <laughs> how to pronounce it. It is a vintage Moser amber crackle glass vase, enamel fish, seaweed unmarked. And this is what it looks like. Bought these from another Dunn collector. 350 each, 700 total, sold for 1,800 in less than a day when posted. So she definitely paid up. She paid $700 for these, but she knew that they were worth big money and flipped them for 1,800. Would you spend 700 to make 1,800? And they were posted less than a day. So she definitely knew that they were big money. Let me know in the comments if you would take that return or if you would pass. Playtime Quilt Kit, purchased at the Salvation Army for $4, listed $5.12, sold $5.17, listed for $129.99 and took a best offer of $110. Vlon times Play, what? Bowie? Play Bowie? Cartier? I don't know what this says. T. It's a t-shirt. I don't know that brand, obviously. I can't even read it. Salvation Army for four bucks, listed on 520 and sold on 530, listed for 119.99 and took a best offer of 100. And that's what that one looks like. What is that brand? Huh, interesting. Found it, th that's why we do this. This is why I do these videos. This is why I do these videos and why you guys share to help everyone. So thank you so much. Found at the Goodwill for $9, never heard of Ray Dunn. Thought I'd take a chance, sold in less than a week. Whoa, whoa. Okay, number one, you've never heard of Ray Dunn. And number two, you've never heard of Ray Dunn and sold this for $850. Incredible pickup. Way to go on taking a chance. Ray Dunn by Magenta, bird on blue cup and plate. This is what it looks like. $850 in less than a week. Paid nine bucks for it. <gasps> That's awesome. Best find to date. I am pretty new. Your videos have been super helpful. Thank you. I got a big box of who knew what for free at Nextdoor app. The only picture posted was one box that had Hewlett Packard, Hewlett Packard on it and it looked old. So I picked it up, came home and researched and it was a huge box of 10 to 15 vintage HP scientific cal calculator accessories. I don't even have the calculator. <laughs> But I have sold a handful so far for 50 to 200 each and still have several to go. Plus a big bag of manuals that also sell for a little each. Screenshot of the most recent two solds. And they sold within 48 hours each. So they are different modules and accessories that allow the calculator to do different calculations or even print and record the calculations. They are all different. Very cool find. Definitely look out for old random tech stuff. Wow. 
One sold for 119 and the other sold for 200. So it's some type of reader and digital cassette drive. Check that out. Now talk about getting something for free and flipping it for big money. Let me know down in the comments, what is your best free find? And you guys come join the Facebook group. I would love for you guys to share a June bolo. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. The first one comes, uh, hmm. Ah, <sighs> is it thriftaholic? Oh, I think it's, did she put it anywhere? Yes, I was right. 